guys, welcome to my channel, Tiffany's Fine Art. I am Tiffany, the artist behind it all. And today I want to do my very first painting in coffee. I have never worked in this medium before. I have no idea what this is gonna turn out like. It will either be a win or an epic fail. I hope it's a win. I'm kinda looking forward to it, but I want to go through it and experience it all with you. So let's go brew some coffee and try not to drink it all. And let's go paint. <laughs> so I guess that's enough sitting around for now. I mixed the coffee with water in different amounts. This was the lightest amount, which means there's a little bit of coffee and a lot of water. And I'm just trying to test it out to see the variations. So I added a little bit more coffee in this mixture and it worked perfect because I just want something very, very light so I can get a base idea or a sketch down on paper. So then I added a little bit more coffee and they gradually get darker. So this is actually a really good brown color that I really like. But I still want something a little darker, so let's mix that. Oh my gosh, this is so gross. Look at how dark and thick. I mean, the color is great. I love the color, how dark it is, but look how globby and thick that is. I didn't know coffee could get like that. That's so gross. <laughs> this is a family channel. I'll let you know what I think about it, but... So here are all my colors. Here's the lightest, and then it goes with the darkest, and that's the, that's the nasty, thick, globby stuff. But it actually reminds me a little bit more paint, and this one is just a little bit more water added to it. So let's put that aside. This is the second to the darkest color. Let's see, do they layer? Well, I guess that's okay. It's not the layering I was looking for. They kind of blend a little bit more, but it's something to keep in mind while painting this. So let's get to painting. So I got my new sheet of paper, and right now I'm just sketching in where I want my everything in my picture to go with the lightest color and these clouds when they start to dry if you notice right here they're getting a really rough edge and I'm not sure I like that especially when it comes to clouds so let's see if we can blend those out let's see if coffee blends even though it dried yeah that's working that's actually pretty good even though coffee would dry, it's, I would assume it'd be a little bit more like watercolor. I've heard watercolor will, um, will lift back up off the paper even after it's dried. So if you're a watercolor artist, you might be able to be pretty good at this. So right now I'm just doing the mountains and then the reflection in the lake and the challenging part about this is it doesn't dry very fast so when I go to lay down another color it just starts to blend in again I think that would be beneficial if you were a watercolor artist which I am definitely not <laughs> it's actually very satisfying to watch in time-lapse you know, you spend so long doing something and you see it all come together so quickly. It's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> and if I, not that I would ever do this again, but, you know, maybe I will if you guys like it enough. I, would, I could try again. But uh, next time I would do this, definitely tape down my paper. I was all over the place. I got it all over the <laughs> table everything so definitely tape it down and you could also do very cool 
designs as like a border. You tape it down. You can do like diagonal across the edges and that would add this really cool effect. I've actually done that effect in pastels and if you'd like to see that I'll have a card pop up right here for you. Just click on that and you can see that cool border effect. Now obviously I'm just trying to make the, this isn't the foreground, so I'm trying to make it the dark, dark color. And the mountains in the background are supposed to be a little misty. I hope that comes across. <laughs> Hey guys, so there you have it. <laughs> I painted with coffee. I don't think it's too horrible. There was a lot of challenges I faced with this. I have never done watercolor, so it was very difficult painting the light to dark. I'm used to doing back and forth all the time, especially with oils, and then they blend easily. So this was a medium that was extremely difficult for me, but I did it. Yay to coffee. <sighs> I'll uh, see you guys next time. Have you tried coffee art? I'd love to know what you loved most about it or if you completely got frustrated and you hated it. I'd love to know that too. Let me know in the comments below and if you do have pictures of your artwork, I would love for you to share them and tag me with Twitter or Instagram. My links are below as well. I read every single one of them and I can't wait to read yours. Just a little reminder, if you did like what you see, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thanks.